It's time for Time for truth It's time for Time for truth It's time for Time for truth It's time for truth There are no data that suggests that it helps women live longer. If there is any effect of mammography screening on breast cancer mortality, it is very small. But when you screen healthy women, you detect a lot in their breasts that you should never have detected because it is harmless. It is like the prostates of males. We don't take a PSA because uh, more than 60% of males at my age have prostate cancer, but don't find it, don't find it. I mean, most of it is innocent. It won't kill us. It's the same with breast cancer. So when you screen for breast cancer, you find a lot of harmless cancers, but you cannot distinguish between whether it's dangerous or harmless. So you treat all of them. And when you treat harmless breast cancers with radiotherapy, you kill some of the healthy women because they get heart disease or they develop new cancers because of the radiotherapy. So if you save a few women from dying in breast cancer because of breast screening, then you kill a similar number of healthy women. So there is no survival benefit. And, but there is a lot of harm. If you go to screening for 20 years, for example, one quarter or in some countries one half of the women will get at least one false, di one, one false diagnosis which means that they get a message we don't know what it is but it might be cancer it might not be cancer you need to come back we will take new pictures or we will do a biopsy or whatever this has big effects on women psychologically even three years after they got a false positive diagnosis and was told it wasn't cancer, you can be happy, there's nothing. Even three years later, they still worry, well, well, maybe they were wrong, maybe I do have cancer. So if you add these psychological side effects to the fact that it doesn't help people live longer, then it's inevitable that mammography screening is harmful. You cannot come to any other conclusion. So I published a paper maybe two years ago where I concluded that mammography screening should be stopped. It's harmful. And uh, some well-educated women, uh, they realize this. For example, the editor of the British Medical Journal, Fiona Godley, I gave a talk on mammography screening in Oxford a couple of years ago for 800 people from the whole world and explained to them why it was harmful. And to my big surprise, I didn't get one critical question from the audience. They asked me, what should we then do? What should we then offer the women? And I said, nothing. Do you know the tune? Don't worry, be happy. We don't offer males anything. We don't tell them to get a PSA screen because it's harmful for them. It's the same with women. Be happy. You should not offer them anything. It's only because you have been brainwashed for 30 years into believing mammography screening is good for women that you feel, oh, if we don't use mammography screen, we must offer them something else. Forget about it. And then, then Fiona Godley, she was chairwoman. She told the whole audience, I got my first invitation for mammography screening recently, but since I know Peter's research very well, I declined. So it's, it's, it's out there on YouTube. I'm talking about, it's not preventing anything. I'm talking about mammography screening. <laughs> and mammography screening cannot prevent breast cancer. It just detects breast cancer, and it detects far too much breast cancer. So it's not prevention. It's wrong to use the word prevention. Mm -hmm. It has nothing to do with prevention. You see, the whole semantics is seducing. Mm -hmm. I know that people call it prevention. It's not prevention to detect a cancer. How can that be prevention? It's not. It's time for... Time for two. It's time for... 
time for two. It's time for time for two. It's time for two. It's time for 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 two.